Now, it might sound quite bizarre, but there have been a few stars discovered that appear to beat like a heart. Now, stars are considerably larger than a heart. They're quite large objects, but something's making them appear to beat like a heart. So what is actually going on with these stars? Well, first, how were they discovered and why do they appear to beat like a heart? Well, on the left hand side here, we've got a light curve of one of these stars and a light curve, if you're not familiar with what one of these is, it is the brightness of a star against the time. So we keep taking measurements of it and we can see how the brightness of the star changes. And you can see right in the middle of that, it suddenly increases in brightness and then suddenly dips down and then it settles down again. It looks a little bit like what we have on the right hand side, which is an electrocardiography, which is essentially the signal from a heart. So signal wise, structure wise there, they look relatively similar. So what is going on here? Well, let's just revisit variable stars. So stars varying in how bright they are is not a particularly uncommon thing. An example here is that stars can pulsate. So they can actually increase in brightness and decrease. And these are pulsating stars. And it does occur over a period. So they do repeat that structure. And there's a few different types of pulsating stars that do this, but they all show at least some periodic re repetition, really, in how they do that. So they get bigger and they get smaller. Now, these are mostly driven by internal processes. So they are balanced by hydrostatic equilibrium, which means that your gravitational forces are balanced by any outward pressure, which is generated by, as the star generates energy in its core, and it has to make its way to the outer parts. But in these pulsating stars, the gravitational forces don't change, but the way that energy makes it to the outer parts of the star changes. So the star becomes more transparent, more opaque, and it causes the star to actually swell up and then contract again. So it's the way that that energy moves its way through and that causes the pulsation of stars. There is also a other type of variable star that gives you a periodic change in brightness and these are eclipsing binary stars. So these actually um, block out the light from each other and you get a dip in brightness as they pass in front of each other and you get this sort of structure here from their light curve. Again it looks quite different but it does give us a periodic change in their brightness nonetheless. So here, the maximum brightness you would actually observe from this binary system is when the two stars are next to each other and they're fully separated. So imagine they're going around, when they're fully separated, we get the peak brightness there. Now, when the smaller star passes in front of the larger star, then we get the biggest dip in brightness. So it blocks out light from the bigger star we get the, the largest drop in the brightness of the star at that point. When it's the other way around, when the larger star eclipses the smaller star, we get the, the smaller dip like that. Now, both of those, the pulsating stars and the eclipsing binary stars, do not produce that heartbeat-like structure in the light curve. So which, you know, what actually is occurring there to give us that sort of shape? Well, heartbeat stars are actually an extreme version of a binary star system. So they're quite similar to the eclipsing binary stars, but there's something else going on that is causing a different light curve than just eclipsing each other. So what actually is occurring here? Well, these stars are on highly elliptical orbits. So their orbits are very elliptical. Now, um, a consequence of that means that they pass by each other very, very close. So at the closest part, they'll pass by each other within a few radius of one another. So they're almost next to each other as they pass by. Now, a consequence of that is that the gravitational forces exerted on each of them basically stretches them. So the tidal forces there from the gravitational forces stretches them to non-spherical structures or shapes. They're no longer spherical in shape. They become almost ellipsoid in shape. So it's actually a change in shape of the star at that closest point. This is starting to contribute to a different light curve we get for these stars. Now, at the outer parts, they actually move quite a long way off because, again, they're very elliptical orbits. They get very close to each other. Then they get very far apart. So actually, at that, those locations, the stars relax back to a more spherical shape. So they actually become ellipsoid and then more spherical. And 
throughout that orbit, it causes a rapid fluctuation in the star's shape. So the stars are fluctuating in shape quite rapidly and fairly significantly, enough that we can actually um, measure it quite well. And the interesting thing here is it's not just a change in the shape. So as they pass by each other, this is another example of a light curve of one of these types of star systems. When they pass by each other very close, they're at their brightest. That's when the shape is the most distorted. And then they begin to move further apart. And they don't just relax back to spherical shape. They don't just change their shape back again. They almost oscillate. So you can see as it moves away, going further right, that it oscillates a bit. And it's a bit like if you um, the stars are being hit or rung like a bell. Now, the example I've got there is kind of like a tuning fork. But if you hit that, it will continue to vibrate. And this is what's happening with the star. As they pass by each other and they are changed in shape and stretched, and then that force is then removed, they continue to oscillate and vibrate. And you can see that as they move away. And this is what gives them their characteristic shape in the light curve that makes them appear to look like they're actually beating like a heart. So thank you for watching and if you enjoy then check out some of the other videos.